All right, folks, Tommy Coward here back on the lawn again. I don't know what it is about November right around election time. We did a video last year, same type of thing, where we were installing a screen. No different this time. But this is a little different. We're using these gigantic Quiera Japonicas. They're 15-gallon specimen plants from... Uh, Picked up Greensboro Shrub. Huge. And here's what this is. We've got a uh, pond back here. I think it's kind of nice. On the other side of this chain link fence, which is kind of ugly. Now, we've got clear Japonicas up here. And this is a shaded situation. Um, Japonica do real well in the shade. These are some skip laurels that were put in. And they were hoping to get some height on them. They really never grew much. There's been a lot of growth. These Nandinas have been providing the primary screen. And a uh, gentleman behind here cleaned this up. Apparently recently cleaned up the backyard. Kind of made it nice. Um, but here the idea is, is to remove the Nandina and uh, replace them with the, uh, put the Clieras in. Those are huge, and I got seven of them. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna pack them in. You know, it's not like, it's not what I like to do. I like to plant them small and let them get big. But hey, customer wants this, let's get started. We're gonna clean out, get rid of the Nandina first, and then, uh, get planting on these big 15 gallon babies. All right, folks, so there's the pile of Nandina. And this is how we've actually put these Clieras in. If you can see that, I've already dug a hole for one. They're huge. Large hole. Soil conditioner, of course. I mean, this is pretty much almost solid. A bluebird house. And it screens out that fence. The pond, unfortunately. But it's good. All right, folks. Let's get planting. All right, folks. Well, here we are finishing up. We're down here on the last one. I just want to see if you could see this. Got this in here. We want that crown to be just two to three inches above the soil level. The lay of the land. So water, it's not drowning in it. Then number two thing, most important, is to make sure there are no air pockets around this root ball. You can see that. Just filling in. I've got a lot of great soil conditioner here. I've mixed it, incorporated it with clay. That's going to help this drain, give root, room for roots to spread. You can see that. And I'm going to go finally level this off. Let's go out here. Take a look at this the way it's turned out. It's a beautiful fall day. Bluebird house. Uh, they kind of match really well with the uh, Cleara. That's the original one. And then there's the rest of the line going down. Stand back here. And it does. It's over time. Uh, it's going to hide out that chain link fence and uh, the pond. But folks, those are 15 gallon Cleara Japonica going in. Just planted seven of them with help from the King of Spades himself. This is Tommy Cowett signing out. Hope y'all having a beautiful fall day.